Today, I'm going to teach you how to install Kodi 17 to almost any Android TV box, MSQ Pro, X96, except KiCad 4.4. Plus, we're going to put some air on as well, so make sure you see the video right after this. Hey, how we doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box, and today another great video. I'm going to teach you how to install Kodi 17 in any Android box. And remember, like the introduction, it's not going to work. It's not going to work if we try this in the KitKat 4.4, like what? Like an MAS box. There are many more, so I'm going to try it. Now waste your time. My test demo, we're using an X96. It's going to work in MSQ Pro, T95. I will say almost any box that runs 5.1 and 6.0 Android. Now, please, please make sure you back up your original Cordy because the video is going to uninstall. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you to uninstall your Cordy and you're going to delete. You're going to lose all your information. It means if you have any errands, if you have been working on one and scan anything. So I don't want to be responsible. You say, oh, Dario, now everything is gone because everything will be gone. We want to make sure everything is clean to do a good installation. Besides that, I'm going to teach you how to put two errands, okay? Exodus and Phoenix. All right, so let's see the video right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to clean Cody, or technically we're going to uninstall the old version. So make sure you do a backup uh, because when you uninstall it, you're going to lose all your information, all your errands. If you did any, any any work in the skin, everything will be gone. Now, why we want to uninstall it? Well, because we want to install the 17 version and maybe it's a possible that some of the application you have there, some of the errands, it will conflict. So we want to do a clean installation. We want to make sure this is going to work from the start. Now we still got to remember, this is better version, it's not the full release, but you can try it, you can play and see if you like it. We got to remember that this is not going to work in any 4.4 KitKat, okay, such as in MS8, okay, it's not going to run there. So right now I'm using the X96, okay, as an example. We can use MXQ Pro and you know the box that runs Android 5.1 or 6.0. Okay, I don't know how many boxes is gonna work. This is my first box I'm gonna try, so let's see what's going on with the X96. So, first thing we're gonna do, no different than MXQ Pro, you need to go to settings. In settings, you're gonna go into applications. Okay, all the boxes are about the same, and we're gonna head into Cody. And we're going to uninstall it. Okay, we're going to hit OK. We're going to uninstall this. Make sure it's clean version. That was pretty fast. Now, you got to look through some of the boxes. That's what they call it, Kodi Update. You got to make sure you uninstall that too. You got to make sure there's none here that says any Kodi. Okay, nice and clean. Okay, so let's do the installation. Best way to do it, grab any USB flash drive, any uh, micro SD card, anything you can put in your Mac machine or your Windows machine. So we're gonna go into Kodi.tv. We're gonna hit downloads. All right, and we're gonna go, oh, first you see the 16.1, you're not paying attention to that, we go down, as you see, and we got over here. So we're gonna be downloading Kodi 17 Beta 3. Okay, so we go here, we're going to download the, this build, not the bottom one, okay? We click ARM, and you're going to be saving it in your computer. I guess maybe it will be your uh, download directory. So we save it there, plug in your uh, USB drive. All right, I open my USB drive, so I need to grab my file. Well, we have the file and put the screen right over here and I can put it right into my USB drive. 
So now, now I'm back to my X96. And I plug the USB drive. And any port available. If you got an um, um, MSQ Pro with the same thing. This is 6.1. Six, six so that's why 6.0. I got this pop-up screen. In case you got a uh, MSQ Pro. You're not going to get any pop-up. So we're going to go into applications then from there we're going to file browser my kids that's my the name of my drive i got a bunch of junk but just look for Cody 17 click on it okay we click next and we install it now remember if you want to learn how to connect um, a hard drive how to connect a mouse and a keyboard i had a brand new video and I just put the MX Q uh, Pro, but no different. Uh, that will work for any other boxes. So check that video out. I'm gonna put the link now. Pretty interesting. You're gonna see it actually real time when I hooked up different keyboards. If you, if you wonder um, if you can put like a four terabyte drive, I got over all those things. Mostly go the configuration the MX Q Pro, but it's still it's pretty good if you want to learn. So check check that video out. Okay, so we click open. And we get Kodi 17 running. So I'm going to show you how to install like a two good applications. So you guys can watch any movies. We'll make it simple so you guys can try it. And after this, you can try uh, any other stuff that you want. All right. So the first thing we're going to do. Okay. All right. So we're going to click here. Configuration. And the first change we're going to make, we're going to have to go into system settings you're gonna go all the way down to atoms and then from here it says unknown sources you gotta turn it on okay so you can run uh, non-official add-ons from uh, Cori. okay so yes because the way they did it they have the official add-on so to run the non-official add-on you gotta click that turn it on all right so we got done we go again, you're going to go file manager and just follow this. I'm going to put anyway the descriptions. We're going to add source. You're going to click like two times. It takes a while to, sometimes you're going to click a few times. And you're going to type this. All right, so that's what you're going to type, okay? HTTP column forward slash forward slash fusion dot TV atoms dot AG. Okay, the not press enter, hit done all right here we're going to type fusion oh no okay done make sure you check that video we're talking about i'll show you how to connect the keyboard because i'm using a regular keyboard we press ok all right and already we had it so we're going to exit all right once all right, we're gonna it again, and we're gonna go to add-ons. You see the little green here. We're gonna click right there. We're gonna install from zip. From zip, I got Fusion here. Click Fusion. We're gonna click that there. English. And the first one we're gonna add, we're gonna add. Let me see Exodus. Okay. It's a real good one if you guys want to watch any movies. So we click that. And we stole that one. We're going to come back again. We go to Fusion again. As we can see Repulse. English. That's it. This one. XVM Club. That one. So we're going to click there. We're going to install that one too. All right, so from there we move up to install from repository. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna install the Exodus. We click on it, we're gonna edit a video, and we click here, we go all the way down, we're gonna install it. Takes a little bit to get installed. If you see, you see here, it's gonna install. Can install. All right. So next one. All right. 
we're gonna look here we're gonna look for video errands we're gonna all the way down to phoenix there are some more if you want to go you can install some more but we're gonna install phoenix it's a good one too all right so these two the only two we're gonna install for now you can go ahead and install some now the x it will not work so do not try that i know these two works so we got that install and let's move to the main menu and look that we got exodus install we click there and that's it what do you want you want new movies let me see new movies click on it and that's it okay so working if i wait a little bit it's going to show the graphic there as you see okay so now let's try phoenix we click on it and that's it we got a bunch of stuff now let me show you something else we can put into the favors if you'd like to see let's see phoenix tv for a minute and we can let's say we can put phoenix tv in our favor so we don't need to let's go back but for these you need a keyboard so i press the letter c in a keyboard all right we click here we move all right we got that i'm going to go back to exodus and you know what i like to see what's going on with the new movie so i click the letter c i already did okay now let's put something else let's put uh um, um tv shows let's move out of there let us see we're done it so make sure you check the video what i was talking about um i'm going to keep the link and if you guys just watch the first 50 minutes the first 10 minutes where i go over the hard drive and, and all the keyboards it's pretty good it's going to work in almost in any box you want any android box i don't care pro msa q 95 96 any box all right so make sure you check that so let's go back now so we see the two errands but i put some favors on it. i'm going to click right over here and right it. tv shows new movies i click here and it's going to show me all the new movies how simple is that and remember to subscribe to our channel media box i'm going to give you the link right now subscribe because i'm making a lot of videos you already right now we got over a hundred videos we got some more coming up so join our channel be part of media box community if you have any comments any ideas anything leave a comment on the video all right guys i'll see you next time